In the eastern and midwestern United States, deer tick larvae hatch from eggs in late June. Previously engorged female ticks lay an average of 1,500 eggs in May. Even if the female was infected, all her larvae are pathogen-free when they hatch. Once hatched, larvae aren't quite ready to blood feed. During July, they remain in the leaf litter, getting hungry, but still not feeding on host. In August, they begin to attach and feed on anything they can find. Rodents, such as white-footed mice and chipmunks, are the prime targets for these tiny bloodsuckers. Rodents carry pathogens that cause Lyme disease, babesiosis, and human anaplasmosis. Deer ticks become infected as larvae when they ingest these pathogens from rodents along with their blood meal. Larvae finish feeding in three or four days, then drop off their host wherever the animal might be at the time. On mice, they synchronize their drop-off to the middle of the afternoon. Since mice are active at night, this means ticks will drop off in their burrows. Here, the larvae begin the process of molting into nymphs throughout fall and winter. These newly molted nymphs emerge from their larval shell in early spring. Their final emergence takes just a few hours, but the young nymphs won't latch onto new host until mid-May. The Lyme disease life cycle clock really starts ticking in August, when blood-hungry larvae feed on infected rodents. So August and September are important months in the disease transmission cycle. Most of the billions of larvae feeding on rodents during these months will emerge as pathogen-infected nymphs nearly a year later. Consequently, risk to people is highest in June and July from infected nymphs that are ready to blood feed.